Hello everyone, I'm Nick from Pixie Woo and today I am delighted to be filming for World Duty Free. This is the look I'm going to do for you. It is a festive season look. Hope you enjoy it. So firstly, I want to prep my skin so that my makeup will last all day. I am going to take Shiseido. This is the Glow Enhancing Primer. It's great because it's oil free so it's going to allow you, if you have oily skin, to wear it and keep your makeup in place works perfectly for dry skin as well. I'm going to take a brush and just buff that into my skin. This is a really nice primer because it goes on without a shimmer but it allows the shimmer to come through throughout the day so it allows your skin to naturally glow. Who doesn't want that in their life? I'm then going to move on to foundation. I'm going to take this Guerlain Parole Gold. Say it how you want to say it, that's how I say it. Don't need much of this product. It's really, really rich and it goes a really long way. Take my same brush that I use for primer, work from the middle of the face and just buff it out. Honestly, it's like butter. It is so beautiful and it goes on the skin so nicely. So smells amazing. Now, if you feel that you want to build the foundation, you can go over it again, but I actually like that it covers well, but looks minimal. Now, I suffer from quite darkness under my eyes, so I'm going to take a MAC Prep and Prime. This is in Highlighter Radiant Rose, just to lift my under eyes. I'm just going to position that really in the darkest part of my eye, so it gives me a little bit of light reflection there. So, it's festive season, party season, that means party spot. I have two or three, so I'm going to take a little bit of MAC. This is Studio Finish Concealer. It is the best at covering blemishes. I'm going to take a little bit onto my brush and then I've got a couple here just push it over the skin so it's really sitting on top of those blemishes goodbye I also like to take a bit of concealer around the nose anyway because I find that especially this time of year that's where you get a little bit of redness you might have a bit of a cold a little bit of a sniffle popping the concealer just around the nose really helps flatten the surface out and make it look slightly more airbrushed. We want a soft focus face. Okay, so we've done our base. Leave the base. Don't powder it, don't set it. Once you've set it, you can't change it. We can then touch it up later if we need to. Once it's powdered, you can't do that. I'm gonna move on to eyes. I am gonna take this gorgeous Smashbox palette. This is in Cover Shots, a Blaze Eye palette. It is so beautiful. So I like to mix colours together, so I'm going to mix these two colours a little bit. And I've already got the concealer still on my eyes and the foundation, so it will allow that to cling and the product to cling really nicely to my eyes. This is such a great palette. The colours are so great for that kind of winter autumnal season. They're beautiful. Just have fun with it, allow the brush to do the work. Take it right up to the brow bone. And then I'm going to go in with a slightly darker colour. I think, oh, should I go for that one or should I go for that one? Maybe I'll just mix the two together. I'm just going to take that a little bit along the edge of the eye and through the socket. So again, place it, let the brush do the work. Don't worry about fall down. That's why I didn't powder the skin. Okay, using the same brush, I'm going to just take that under the eyes a bit these eyeshadows have such amazing pigment. I'm hardly having to do anything, they just work. They apply so nicely and blend beautifully. I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC Teddy pencil. This is a coal pencil, so it slips really, really nice. By that I mean you apply it and then you're gonna use a brush to buff it into the eye and it just blends beautifully. This pencil is absolutely stunning on the eye on its own. Now I'm keeping the waterline free because I don't want um, to have really, really dark inside the eyes as well. It can look beautiful, but can also make the eyes look a little bit smaller. So I'm just doing the dark on the outside and winging it out so it lengthens my eye a little bit. Right. Back in with the eyeshadows over the top of the pencil that I've put in. Now in this palette there is a dark brown. I'm going to take a little bit of that on a slightly smaller brush again. Just run that over the top. That's going to seal that pencil and give it a bit of depth and a bit more drama. Another bit of drama. Drama in makeup, not in my life. Now you're probably thinking, oh my god, you've chosen warm, ready tones. The reason for that is because I've got green eyes. 
and if you think about color theory the opposite color to green is red it really enhances the green and makes it show up more if you've got blue eyes you want to go for a slightly more orangey tone that can be orangey warm browns if you've got brown eyes you can wear anything so I'm going to just take my brush just softly buff that over the top so you can see the depth and the drama there's not a definite definite line there okay next we're on to my favorite bit and my favorite product if you watch my videos I use this in every video and I buy these every time I go to the airport this is a travel exclusive and it is YSL volume effect mascara in noir radical you get two in here me and my sister always travel together so it's perfect we get one each you're saving money and it is honestly the best mascara you will ever try it will blow your mind let me show you I'm not one for wearing false lashes really, so the more mascara the better for me. So a little shake, so you're really getting to the root of the lashes and pull upwards. These are little fine bristles, so the more you shake it in, it's like a hairbrush, you wanna get it right in the hairs and then pull up. So we're getting the root, but we're also brushing it through as we come up. Sometimes I tend to blink as I'm pulling it up as well. So it really coats the lashes. You can see how much softer that's actually made the eyes look. Okay, I'm moving on to brows. I don't want too much drama in the brows because I've already got that in the eyes. So I'm going to take this Benefit. This is Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I like on the end, it's got a spoolie. So I need to brush my brows through first anyway. I tend to brush them up, especially you might get a little bit of foundation in them. So give them a brush through first. Now this pencil is available in six shades. I am middle of the road number three. Look, it's got a really nice point to it. The reason I like the point is because I can point the point on my brows and pull up and draw individual brow hairs. Don't want it to look like I've cut out bits of carpet and stuck them on my eyebrows. Now I like to make my brows a tiny bit thicker because as we get older, our brows thin out and are slightly more sparse so by making them a little bit thicker it makes us look a little bit younger people always say brows should be sisters not twins I'm like i want mine to be twins my sister doesn't look that much like me i'm going to take a tiny bit of mac i like to watch it's called a dazzle shadow it's because it's dazzling and i'm going to use my finger because it picks up the product a little bit better and just push it over the lid Sparkly. Now back to skin. It seems to have worked in. The foundation is becoming part of my skin. I can see where I need to go back in with a touch more concealer. So I'm going to take my concealer. I'm just going to pop a little bit more under my eyes, a little bit more around my nose. How are my blemishes doing? They're still covered. I can see that my chin needs a little bit more coverage. So I'll take a little bit of the concealer there. That's why. I don't powder straight away, I wait until the end. Also, by layering the makeup, you're building it so it's going to last way longer on the skin. And if you like to party, you want it to last. Then I'm going to powder the skin. I have got this Urban Decay All Nighter Powder, a waterproof setting powder. It is so brilliant. Now, actually, when I first saw this product, I thought it was going to be really heavy and really cakey because it said waterproof, but it's not at all. It's really buildable and sits on the skin beautifully to just take away the shine. So I'm just taking the powder anywhere I have a little bit too much shine. I like a glow to the skin, but certain areas it needs flattening a little bit. So I use a small brush so I can get into those areas. Then I'm going to move on to bronzer. I have got a travel exclusive Guerlain bronzer and brush duo. So I'm just going to take the bronzer and then just allow it to catch onto the cheeks. Now I don't really like contouring because I have quite big cheekbones anyway. If I contour I just look a bit gaunt. So I'm just going to apply the bronzer just to the top of the cheeks just so it catches. If you remember I didn't powder that area so it will catch really nicely anywhere that the sun would hit my face. So if I was out in the sun, it would hit the high points of my face, down my nose. That is where the bronzer lives. This is really nice because it's such a lightweight bronzer. 
My advice would be, when you use the bronzer, start on the cheeks and then what's left on the brush, rub over the nose. Otherwise, if you go in there first, you're gonna get quite a heavy lay down of product. So what I love about this product is you can swirl your brush and you pick up the blusher, the highlighter and the bronzer all together. So it gives it a really soft focus, slightly lighter bronze, not just really harsh. It's just soft and creates a really beautiful glow to the skin. Then for some highlighter. Now this makeup says enough on its own, so I'm only doing little finishing touches. I am choosing NARS. This is the multiples and this is a cream in Orgasm. I'm going to take a brush and wipe it onto a brush first because I don't want to wipe it straight over the makeup because it will move my makeup. But by using a brush, I can pick up some product. My skin's already got a nice glow to it, so I don't want anything too much. So this is almost combining my highlighter and my blusher at the same time. I'm just going to push it on the top of the cheekbone. It's incorporating those kind of warm, peachy, corally tones into the cheek as well. So it's kind of autumnal, warm, ready tones that I've got in the eyes. It's just dragging it round into my cheek. Little circular motions once it's on the brush, right up to the cheekbone. So it creates a really nice shimmer, but nothing too much. We've already got glitter on the eyes, so we definitely don't want glitter on the cheeks. We just want a lovely shine as you move. A little bit on my cupid's bow as well. To finish this look, I need a lip, and I have got this travel exclusive NARS Lip Set Jet Setter. It has three different colours in here, and they're all completely different. So these are the three colours you get in the set. You have got Anita, Charlotte, and Carmen. I think that we're going to live at Anita for this one, but aren't they gorgeous? These are the audacious lipsticks, and they are the nicest texture. Isn't that just the nicest texture? They're so rich um, and lightweight. I'm just gonna take a brush and just soften the outside. I don't want the lips to be a focus at all. I need a bit of color, but I don't want them to be to stand out. So I'm just gonna soften the edges. It's just allowing the lips to look fuller. Kind of gone over them a little bit, but also really nice and soft. And that is my finished festive season look. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you picked up some great tips and tricks and I hope you go and now pick up some amazing makeup. Take care, bye.